Hello and welcome to this series of films about intermolecular forces. We'll be looking at um, the three different kinds of intermolecular force that you see in year 12 in quite a lot of detail, how they arise and what might give one molecule stronger forces than another. But really this film is just supposed to be a, a very brief introduction to the topic and it's meant to just remind you about the meanings of some important terms and to introduce the three main types of intermolecular force by name. So hopefully by the end of this film you'll have refreshed your memory of what we mean by intramolecular bonds and how they compare to intermolecular forces as well as knowing those the names of the three main types of intermolecular force. So here we are, here's just a very simple diagram that shows the difference between bonds and forces or more precisely between intramolecular bonds and intermolecular forces. Um, it's uh, supposed to be a diagram of HCl, I suppose, in the liquid state because these two molecules are quite close together. Here is an intramolecular bond, okay? This straight line here, which is a shared pair of electrons between the hydrogen and the chlorine. So it's a covalent bond, and most of the time when we're talking about intermolecular forces, I suppose we will be talking about covalent molecules. Um, I suppose that is, well, it it hopefully will be obvious because if we're talking about molecules or intramolecular things we must be talking about covalently bonded atoms because that's what molecules are. So here's an intramolecular bond. Okay, It's a covalent bond and it's strong. Here's an intermolecular force. Okay, Try and think of these as forces rather than bonds even though you'll see that in a minute, um, there is an intermolecular force that often goes by the name of a bond, even though it's not really a bond. Okay, These ones, intermolecular forces, they're between one molecule and another, and they're weak. And these are the ones that we tend to break and talk about breaking when we're talking about the physical properties of a substance. All right, Try not to talk about bonds breaking when things are boiling. Okay, it will be the intermolecular forces that we are breaking when we're talking about boiling points. Okay, intramolecular within one molecule, they are what we think of as covalent bonds. Okay, and they're strong, intermolecular forces weak. Okay, and here are the three main intermolecular forces that we look at in year 12. They are the dispersion force, the dipole-dipole force, and the hydrogen bond. So there's that intermolecular force that often gets called a bond even though it's not a bond. All right. I've put them kind of in order of strength here, although it's not often useful to try and compare the strength of dispersion forces to dipole-dipole forces. All right. So you can have dispersion forces that are stronger than dipole-dipole forces, although dipole-dipole forces are often thought of as being stronger than dispersion forces. That might be a little bit confusing, and I can understand that, but the best thing to do is just to avoid comparing the strength of these two. It is good, however, to remember that the strongest type of intermolecular force is called a hydrogen bond, although it is still a force, an intermolecular force rather than an intramolecular bond. Okay, So they're the three kinds of intermolecular force we're going to be studying. There's three films about them, one on each one, um, but before you go and watch those films it'd be a good idea if you watch the film about um, bond polarity and molecular polarity so that you can understand how it is that electrons can be unevenly distributed in, an, in a bond and in a molecule. Okay.